6.30 p.m., we talked with Officer Doherty about the other missing boy. He told us that his name was Stephen Martin, eight years old. His family had just moved into the neighborhood. It seemed that no one besides the Martin family knew that the boys played together. We got a description of the Martin boy and put out a missing broadcast. We called the Johnstone's family doctor. He told us that Stanley's blood type was type O. At 7 p.m., we talked with Mrs. John Martin. Stevie told me he was just going out to play. He said he'd be home by 6 for dinner. Yes, ma'am. It's always prompt, never overstays his playtime. It's after 7, isn't it? Yes, ma'am, 5 after. You sure Mrs. Johnston doesn't know where the boys are? She has no idea, Mrs. Martin. It's terrible, just awful. I feel there's more to this thing, something you're not telling me. Well, there's no use to upset you until we know a few things for sure. Then you are holding back something. Please try not to worry, Miss Martin. There are certain questions we have to ask, routine questions in any kind of investigation. Anything else you want to know? Yes, what's your boy's blood type? It's a funny question. Do you think anything's happened to him? Have you found him and you're not telling me? No, ma'am, we haven't found him. We don't think anything's happened to him. Blood type? Yes, ma'am. I think I have it written down in Stevie's baby book. Yes, here it is. It's type O. Thank you. I wonder if I might use your phone. Yes, of course, in the hall. Thank you. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Pinkert just finished the blood grouping. Bad. The stains, both typo. Oh. 